another day, another project. to start the project that's been on the books for a while, which is painting the doors. Let me show you what they look like right now. These are the colors we wanna do, like a nice light blue, but with the contrast of like the coral color, it's kind of just canceling blue out, so. So we're doing our step one, which is priming. I cannot see what I look like at all. You look good. So describe your process as an artist. Like yeah. Where do you get inspiration from? You know, does it dreams, nature. magazines? Well, not dreams, because I have, remember that really disturbing dream I had recently. About painting? No. <laughs> About Judd Apatow's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hard work. That was hard. Hot boy. There is a life I lead in the city. Hurry and cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. <gasps> oh wow, that looks so good. Oh. I like it. I think it's gonna be really good. I think it's gonna be great. I'm really excited. That really good choice, chicken. I love it. It reminds me so much of the blue in the mountains. Yeah. It's a little different, but like. That was my. That was my thought too. Like just different enough. Yeah. Wow. I love it. Yay! So Do you like it. it? I really like it. Yay! We did. <laughs> we did something good on that. Man, you were mobbing that door. Good Good so fast. <laughs> the other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all I wonder if I should be this close to the paint fumes. We're in the kitchen to talk about today's sponsor, Element. They are genuinely, honestly, fully transparently a part of my every single day routine. And since I started implementing them, my quality of life has just improved. Element is an electrolyte drink mix that has everything you need and absolutely nothing you don't. This is how I started to store mine. I just pick out a couple of flavors and make my own little like mix and pack. Orange and citrus were my top, but I've been loving a watermelon recently. And I think that's what we're gonna do today. They're gluten-free, there's no sugar, there's no no junk, there's no artificial ingredients. It's just, <coughs> sorry, I inhaled a little bit of it. No artificial colorings, artificial ingredients. It's just what you need, all the good stuff and the salts. I just pour it in a big cup. 
so many people don't even know they're dealing with an electrolyte deficiency. But even beyond that, do you drink alcohol? Do you just not drink enough water during the day? So the cups of water you have, you're like, how can I supercharge it? This, and it tastes fantastic. It's also the only reason why I can do this standing up for so long. And right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving little packs like these for free with any Element order. This is a really great way to try all eight flavors, figure out which one you like best, or you know, share it with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash Megan. This is only available through my link. That's drinkelement.com slash Megan. I just got startled because I was like, what is that in the corner of my eye? It's my reflection as I was doing it. this before I've got rain outs and I get these things called like chill blains. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it but basically blisters when your feet get very very cold and they go away once it warms up one wasn't going away and my whole toe very swollen got to the point where yesterday Mott's noticed and was like that's not looking good and there was so much pressure that it looked like my toenail was gonna pop off <laughs> it got infected and basically just infected my whole nail bed so i just have to take antibiotics for 10 days which is a lot and i'm definitely gonna need to grab some probiotics because 10 days of antibiotics that just screams yeast infection to me and now I'm just waiting in the car while Mots goes and prints out a script for an audition that I have to do this weekend. Another day, another project. Woo! We are going to repot some cute little plants that we got from the nursery this week. And I love them. And I guess first I'll show you where they're gonna go. See these? They're like little, we've got, did I count seven? Eight of them. Matt says eight. While Matt goes to grab the spade in the garage, we had a strawberry plant a couple weeks ago. Except an animal did get the. Get out of here. Oh, that got caught quick. An animal did catch the first strawberry that was ready before we were able to harvest it ourselves. And we're still working on frequency of watering have not mastered that yet and we also definitely over watered a little bit these are the flowers we got i had a wee bit of a meltdown at the uh, nursery i was just getting stressed out about which ones to choose we're painting that door the same shade of blue that we did for the garage door we wanted to like have something that coordinated i also wanted to look like wildflowers you know and i thought these were just so pretty. Okay, don't focus on me. Look at that. Aren't they pretty? So stoked about that. So not a mix. Graceful wildflower effect for garden or pots. Flowers profusely. Some people sweat profusely and flowers profusely. Then to pair with it, we got these. <laughs> Why do people write in cursive? Can everybody read cursive? Well, Calibra. Calibra. Girls refer to it as mini famous trademarked uno double white do you think uno trademarked it and we got the pots which are just like the 50 cent ones that the nursery had until we like i think had them for a while and know how <laughs> they work and if they work well no use to get like nice pots these ones totally work just fine definitely don't have enough to fill all of them but our thought process was figure out a system that we think looks nice whether it's them combined each in one 
whatever, and then either we'll buy repeats of these or throw another one into the mix. Okay, let's put these in pots. Last time I repotted something, almost all of them died, so. Those were houseplants, that was very different. Cheryl lives down in the south, working at the Waffle House. Has a second job at midnight when it's time to leave. Cost seven dollars fifty cents, never seems to pay the rent. You gotta have a trick or two that's hidden up your sleeve. But living ain't a magic act, days are long and that's a fact. Money still ain't quite enough for her and all the kids Times have changed, she always says The good old days are gone dead She tucks the kids into their bed Like mama always did Another one done! It looks good! Yay! But it's hard when you ain't got nobody And it's hard when do you think there's too many in a pot though? Does it say? It doesn't. It's gonna be seven meters apart. That's nice. Definitely too many in a pot. So should we do three in this one too? Yeah. Do you don't think it's we should use two? No, I think we tried three. <laughs> oh, I'm just like worried because it said to plant them farther apart. And the reason we did three in this one is because they were like their roots were attach attached. Well then, we'll try three. <laughs> okay. I've always like put one in a 12-inch pot and you go, no, no, put three in a six-inch pot. I think I need like a gardening outfit. Pretty good gardening outfit. I know, but I wear these every like in my recreational life. I think I need one that's for just for gardening. Some cheap gardening. I mean, these can be my art gardening overalls, I guess. But then I need another pair to put in my outfit rotation. We try. We try. Try with everything we have just to make it by. Yeah, we try. Turns out we can't pot all of the, what did we call these? All the, the synonymics. <laughs> we can't do like one little fleet we bought per pot. So we definitely broke them up more and we only got four pots. So we're gonna need to get some more before we can do these little babies. So far what I think looks the best is the white ones on like the stairs and then the wildflower ones up on the porch so that means we need two more pots and plants of the white ones it's pretty cute so you live in the dream You should see it through someone else's side Another cipher to break While the grass grows underneath my feet 